It looks like it's losing some pressure. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Tiago here. This is a 6.5 turbo diesel. We're gonna check the fuel pressure on it today. Um, very simple, the only thing that you need is one of these vacuum uh, uh, PSI pressure type of uh, gauge. And um, in this case, I have a clamp that I'm gonna use. So you're gonna need a Phillips screwdriver. Um, in this particular truck, I have this uh, valve right here, which is, this is just, this was just over here, like that. This is just a, a extra drain, just to go down in front of the block, block that goes down to the floor, um, just in case there's any spillage there. But um, I'm gonna hook this up. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna hook this up right here. So grab like that without breaking my gauge. Let's put that over there like this. And we are gonna tighten this up. So guys, before we continue, um, I wanna show you guys, anyways, happy new year. Um, I hope you enjoyed the rest of uh, 2021 and now we are into 2022. So I wanna do a little bit different uh, the way that we do this channel, I kind of wanted to explain as we go through this video, because I record this video in the beginning of, like in the middle of last year, 2021. I want to um, explain to you guys um, exactly what do we need as far as uh, uh, PSI on this uh, truck, on the 6.5. Um, I'll leave a link below to the to the website over here that I want. is uh, It's called dieselhub.com. And um, it has some information over here on the on this website about the 6.5, uh, the fuel system, the troubleshooting guide. So you guys can go through this guide if your truck is not starting. Um, and it will tell you over here everything that you need to know as far as, you know, going through the procedures of checking the voltage and if you don't have... Um, you know, if your if your engine had uh, low fuel pressure and all that stuff, but I want to go to the end over here. So it's showing over here a little bleed valve. What that is is just a button that you hit so you can release the pressure on the fuel. I don't have that on my gauge that I will be showing you guys. Um, but the only information that I want to show it to you guys over here it says the fuel pressure should read between three and seven psi at idle. So my pressure gauge was at one. As soon as I put it in, you guys will see it's at, it's gonna be at one, um, but it's gonna read when it's idling, it's gonna read um, a little bit above, uh, I think it's five or six. You guys will see it. Anyways, happy new year guys, and let's continue to the video. Grab our gauge, put it away from any moving parts. Um, and then after we start the truck, we just come over here or we can even open this up with like a, like a pliers or something. Just grab this right here like that. And we just move it nice and easy. This way, and open up. And this is that close to zero right now it's about at one let's see if she'll start because uh she's still having problem with the glow plug relay there so there you go all right so as we continue this video the pulley on my compressor the ac compressor is going to make like a very annoying sound it's because it's, it's just old. I got to replace that whole unit. I mean, it's it's going to be a little annoying, but hopefully you guys will see the information that I'm trying to pass out to you guys. So right now, she's about like five, six pounds. About six PSI right now. Um, I think that's pretty good. See if we uh, open 
it's about like 6 PSI right now. Um, let's see if I can... That's how you check the PSI. I mean, it goes up and down a little bit, but other than that, it stays right there on five. Let me shut it off. All right, so, yeah, so, uh, and as of right now, it looks like it was losing some pressure. Um, I fixed some of the the problem on the bottom of it. Oh, this is really losing pressure here. Waiting. Is that at three? There's, it's not leaking right there, so. And the gauge is pretty good, I think. It's holding at three. Let me shut this off. Shut that off. Shut that off. We'll grab this here. have to tighten it too hard hey guys that's it for this video hopefully uh you enjoyed and uh hopefully you get the information that you need on this video so don't forget to leave your notifications on so you can get notifications when the next video comes on thank you so much for uh stopping by and checking my uh my channel don't forget to subscribe have a good one bye